In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite little concepts out of the gun bunch to absolutely torch Mabel coverage. This is a really good concept that you can use pretty much any year out of the bunch, and I think it's no different this year. So we're gonna jump into it. I'm really excited. I'm in the New England Patriots playbook. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. I post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. But basically, we're gonna be in the New England Patriots playbook because I believe it's the best playbook in the game. I believe it's gonna be the best playbook in Madden 22. So if you want to get my New England Patriots full guide where I literally break down every single formation, then you can get that down in the description. We're talking about Gun Bunch today, and uh, we're actually going to be talking about a concept that you can apply. Now, you can do this from multiple different types of plays. Um, I personally really like to do this out of something like um, like a 518 hook type of play or a mesh post, mesh spot could be another good uh, example. Um, you know, all kinds. I mean, basically, you, you don't have, I don't have the play in here, but the play that you would honestly probably want to do this out of most would be the mesh post from Gun Bunch or the double post out of the Carolina book. But all we're going to do is we're going to come out and uh, we'll just use Pat's curl flat because then it will give me the opportunity to show you kind of two plays in one. Uh, with the same concept. So basically what we're going to do is obviously we want to run our bunch to the wide side of the field. So we're going to, to um, basically put the ball over here. Um, if it was on the other hash, you just flip everything that I'm about to tell you. But this is a little trick that I love to use to just torch Mabel coverage from bunch. And it's really simple. If you've ever ran bunch, you know that it's the flip of the gun bunch is really easy. So when I audible and I flip the play, Look how fast they move. You see they move really, really quickly and it can kind of throw the defense off. Well, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip the bunch and then I'm gonna put this outside receiver. It allows me to put him on slot hot routes. So if I have hot route master, this allows me to put him on post, on corners, on crossers, on stop and goes, right? All kinds of good stuff. But if I don't, it also allows me to put him on a hitch and then I can flip the play again. And now I have a hitch on the outside of the field. What I like about this is I can pair the hitch with a swing or with a table route to the running back. And what this is going to now allow me to do is essentially have what I believe to be one of the best Mabel coverage beaters in all of Madden. And if you just watch the snap ball, I've got a Mabel coverage set up. Just watch that square receiver. You're going to see he's going to get wide open in between both the yellow and the purple zone. It's one of the glitchiest, I think one of the glitchiest routes in the entire game. And as you can see, we're able to basically beat Mabel coverage consistently for, you know, 15, or not 15, but uh, five to 10 yards right out of the gate. Um, this is really simple. And again, if you could you could come out in your gun bunch to the short side of the field and then uh, you know and then basically do exactly the same trip trick that I'm gonna show you. So again, I just like to do this because it, it, it kind of I think it's better this way just because you're gonna get them all over the place with their adjustments. But anyway, as you can see right here we get that adjustment. Now we can set up a three man route combination on the backside. Um, we might want to do kind of a Z spot setup where you get this right here and now we're motioning out brown. Now I'm going to talk about that for just in a, in a second, but I want to show you you can throw this uh, corner. So um, the next thing I want to kind of show with this is this concept is so good against Mabel coverage, but I want to show you one little thing that you can do that I think will make this even better, and it's essentially to use double hitches. So all we're going to do is we're going to put uh, Evans on a hitch, just like so. We're going to smart route the route, put, uh, and then and then we're going to flip the play again. Now when we flip it again, we're going to put ground on a hitch. We're gonna smart route uh, Godwin. And then um, I like to personally, honestly, you could delay fade the tight end if you wanted to, uh, to get at better protection. You could put him on a, I actually really like to put him on a post. You could also put him on a crosser, a curl, any of those concepts. And then you'll see right here, look at how good that hitch route does at pulling the zones. Hitch routes are incredible for getting and finding openings in the zones in my opinion um, they're going to be able to find openings all over the field uh, for you just kind of sitting in the soft spot basically of a zone cover so you see here we're going to hitch brown we're going to flip the play um, hitch evans so we're just hot riding them to those um, those things and then when we come back we can basically do something like this now what we can also do with this is actually kind of neat is I can use this um, I can use this flat route right here and basically it creates essentially Z spot so I can motion this guy out kind of right out here to the numbers and now look at the routes you're gonna see that these um, you know it didn't get quite as open there 
because the, the vertical streak does help kind of clear um, a space for that, and I'll show you that in a second. But you've got hitches on both sides, which is really good. It's really good not just for holding zones and opening up some of the deeper routes, but it's also really good for um, it's also really really good for uh, basically holding the zone or not holding the zone. I'm sorry, um, beating the blitz. So if they blitz you, you've got hitches on both sides, so you're pretty good against the blitz, in my opinion. So as you see here, I've done these hot routes. While I'm doing this, this is going to help. So then when you come back over across, now all you got to do is snap the ball. You got this motion out. Get him outside the numbers right in here. And now watch how watch what this does. Look at circle wide open on both sides. Your hitches get open against both uh, defenses whenever you motion these receivers to the outside and get them outside the numbers. So I love this little concept. This is one of my favorite routes um, or favorite plays in the game for beating uh, zone coverage, if you know they're in zone coverage. Now, if they're in man coverage, I will tell you that the hitches are um, pretty good against shaded over top man, but they're not as good against other um, like other types of man coverage. So one way around that is to put the tight end on a post. That now will give you um, two to three routes that you could have on the field that are going to be good against the zone coverage. And you'll see we're still able to hit this uh, this corner route on the outside. The problem is if you don't have a vertical route, like a streak, then you're not going to be able to pull the zone as well. Uh, but one last little thing on this setup, and I want to show you that, is this basically this three by one, um, this three by one smash concept that we basically create uh, out of this is super effective. We showed you the short side hitch. Really the main concept I love is this, this swing, like that little audible trick right there to get that hitch out there with the swing. I think it's such a good route. But then if you if you continue to work through the concept, um, when you come back to this side, if you don't have a flat but you have a hitch, watch what this does to the flat zone. You're going to see it's going to keep that flat zone right in there, and that allows this opening right there for the for the, um, for the the receiver. Now, let's say, for example, you might want – let's say you're watching this and you're like, you know what, I like this, but I want another way to beat man -to -man coverage and still be able to hold the zones. Um, I've got a really good setup for you I'm going to show you right now. So – what we can do, this is uh, specific to Pat's Curl Flat out of the New England book, but you can leave this little angled curl, and if you leave him on the line of scrimmage, he'll beat man-to-man. -man. But now what you'll see he's going to do, see how he does the same exact thing, and the corner route can get wide open. That's against a 30-yard flat zone, and that corner route is getting uh, consistently open. So that's one of my favorite little uh, tricks out of Gun Bunch to really deal with Mabel coverage. Uh, in a really practical and easy way. Um, you can also, I mean, there's just so many ways you can run this concept, man. Like um, the audible here spacing switch is another good version of this. And basically what I would do if I was running this, especially if I was running this um, like before I'm in the red zone, is, is and, and obviously if I have Hot Route Master, is to use these, um, to use this, um, this, this post to the slot. So what you'll see is now I've got my swing, or I would probably put a table route personally, but if you don't have power mesh, you just put a swing, it's not a big deal. And then when you motion this, um, when you motion the circle receiver out, you you don't even have to motion him out, honestly. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I would motion him out on a corner route. I think that could work, but you'll see what's gonna happen is um, this post route is gonna get wide open behind the zone coverage if they you know if they get caught with their with their mabel coverage because the hitches are going to hold the zone so well so anyways just try this out this is a really good concept to utilize the short side hitch and short side flat combination within the bigger framework of the gun bunch meta offense so i just think it's really good um, if you guys want to learn my full gun bunch meta offense that i designed out of the bunch and the bunch tight end in the new york jets playbook it uses a lot of these concepts as well as some other ones that are really, really good. So if you want to learn that, I'm going to leave a link to that offensive guide in the description of this video. I think that's going to be a very good offense next year. Bunch is always good. So if you want to become a really good bunch player, uh, you can get my bunch offensive guide down in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later.